According to the general press, blacks aren't born. They don't have parties. They don't get married and have receptions. They don't have social affairs. And uh, this is what we cover. And we cover the entire black community, whatever happens. We are a cause press. That's why it was started. Freedom's Journal, started by John Rushworth. And uh, Samuel Cornish, Reverend Samuel Cornish, was the first black newspaper in this country, 1827. You see? And we've been fighting ever since then. And we're still battling today for equal opportunity. My uncle, I think, is responsible for the migration from blacks to the north through the Defender. And he had a lot of problems with it because at that time, and even when I came here, it was against the law, more or less, to sell the defendant in the southern states. In fact, the postmasters would not distribute the defendant, even though it was sent through the mail. And the reason we, the defendant and my uncle, got circulation throughout the country because the Pullman porters delivered the defender. We couldn't send it through the mail. And if they were caught handling the defender, something would happen to them in Mississippi and all the southern states. Through the underground, blacks read the defender. At that time, you didn't have a local black newspapers throughout the country. The only place that they could get news about their community was through the Defender. We used to run at least 15 pages of state news from all over the country. In 1905, he put a nine-point plank in his newspaper, starting with American race prejudice must be destroyed. Today in the Defender, we've got seven of those nine. The only two that have been eliminated is a black in the president's cabinet and a federal law against lynching. The rest of them are still in the defender. Number one, American race prejudice must be destroyed. And that disturbs me a lot of times. Have we made progress? And people say we've made progress. Have we made progress? 